Stanford University. The median time that we can detect an earthquake with this technology is approximately 10 seconds. We're hoping that people will sign up on our website to volunteer to host a seismic sensor, first in the Bay Area, but then around the country, to use the idle time on their computers to monitor for earthquakes. By plugging in the sensor into the USB port, when there's a strong new motion, the computer then can upload that information to our server. Hopefully, we'll be able to detect earthquakes as they're happening. This is pointing out the locations of the recent earthquake shown in red within the last week. If we go to the night view, you can see where people are based on where lights are in the cities. And where you have people and you have earthquakes, that's where you have the greatest earthquake hazard. If you can detect an earthquake as it's happening, you can identify the earthquake, characterize it, say, OK, there's a big earthquake happening over here. And let the people in the surrounding areas know. This is an example of data recorded by our sensors in New Zealand from the 6.3 magnitude aftershock. You can see the closest station, the waves arrived earliest, and you can see this strong motion there. With the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, it would have given San Francisco a system like this probably about 40 seconds worth of warning. With 40 seconds, you could do a lot. This is really a way to bring down the cost of doing this type of earthquake science where we're looking at these big earthquakes and trying to detect them as they're happening. By volunteering to host one of these sensors, you're contributing data to a very important scientific project that will hopefully revolutionize the way that we do earthquake science. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.